We was foreign poor crips. And I ain't gonna lie, niggas knew not to come over here. I'm gonna keep it 100. Every block in A leave foreign poor crips then stomped on. When you speak about crip, you speaking about the actual gang. If I wanted to be a crip, how, how does that work? Let's see what you're talking about, beat your ass real fast. <laughs> Pretty guys, rest in peace to all the homies, man. It's some of the homies that have intended peace. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with the Crips of Foreign Park, Houston. Y'all shot yourself. Slim Tens. OG D Lo. Messiah, man. I cherish the moment it's high stakes. I used to spend time on my time pay. Uh, they got guns and they're saying all this trash. So they ought to go out and get a job and knock this stuff off, and all they are is punk. In today's episode, we venture deep into the world of the notorious street gang known as the Crips, focusing on the Houston Crips of Foreign Park. To fully understand their story, however, let's start with a quick history and some important terms. The Crips were founded in Los Angeles in 1969 by Raymond Washington and Stan Williams. What began as an alliance between two independent gangs evolved into a sprawling network of individual sets, that is, distinct groups that often operate independently and can even be in conflict with one another. But what exactly are sets? Think of them like a franchise of a fast food chain. Just as Chick-fil-A started in Georgia and now has franchises across the country, Crip sets are groups that share the Crip name but operate independently. The Crips of Forum Park are just one of these sets, separate from, for example, the Rolling 30s Harlem Crips or any other set you might have heard of. While they all identify as Crips, their missions, goals, and identities can differ greatly. As of 2015, the Crips had approximately 800 sets and about 35,000 members across 221 cities and 41 states. This brings us to the purpose of today's episode, to explore what Cripping means to the Foreign Park set, to understand how its members became Crips, to hear about their dangerous past and their past towards reform. Let's begin. There's a lot of information on the news about the Crips and everything. A lot of them negative, you know robbery murder but i understand there's more to you guys please explain to us bro what what is the crips who are y'all we the foreign park crips so that's based off this and it foreign park westwood district we one of the only sets that really just did our own thing the politicking and all that we just did our own thing we do it our, our own way and this right here is kind of part of our proof of our labor right here 15 to 30 years of work so right here what you see is form man form park yeah. fpc man like started from us right here young niggas you know what I'm saying? Doing our thing, putting in what we put in. But then the day we grew old, I don't know what y'all see on TV. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what <laughs> y'all see. News, TV, the news, YouTube. YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But we 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 on some shit, much more different. Just trying to do some shit that the Crip shit was originally supposed to be. When you speak about Crips, you you speaking about the actual game. You know, you speaking about what we came from. Yeah. When you speak about Crips, so when we telling y'all this, we telling you what we came from and the evolution of what we get and what right. we doing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day. We not doing what the, the regular people are doing, you know what I'm saying? But we, we always gonna be for this hood. This always gonna be us. So, so the crib niggas over there, they always gonna be for us. We always gonna try to lead them to something, you know, whatever they need, you know what I'm saying? Whatever that is, you know what I'm saying? But they, it's, we, that, that is two separate things. The FPC. What is the FPC? The FPC, <laughs> we really tell you, yeah, what, what we started and where we at. FPC, Foreign Park Crip. Foreign Park Crip. Foreign Park Crip. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's the hood, that's the block, that's the turf. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And over the years of us doing this, doing that, and doing that, we had to rebrand ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We grown men now. You know what I'm saying? That's how I went to FPC, forever protecting the community. Everything that you seeing and saying, or, or what you was probably seeing and reading about, that's probably, that was us. You know what I'm Yo, saying? That was All stuff, yeah, that, that was us. We, we, we older now. So we can only tell you on how we evolved, you know what mm. I'm saying? And, and and how we was is how a lot of niggas, young niggas is now. Yeah. When did y'all become Crips? How long ago was that? To be honest with you, man, we had like, like two, three different type of waves. The first wave, me and my boy Elo, I mean, you know, we put it down. It really wasn't, it wasn't nothing but BDs over here. Foreign Park has really always been kind of open. Some guys over here, they rolling 60, some Crips. So the original, Crip said on Farm Park is rolling 60s. We not rolling 60s, okay. but when we was coming up, that's what we were saying. Could have went right to the left, and we chose to go to left. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So we were just out here, just really roaming around here, lost. We was out here bad, bro. Banging to the right. We doing all type of shit that they was doing. We were just doing everything wrong. It took a few years for us to get right. It's me and my guy right here that we put, put the LPC shit down though. And we did that to separate us from all the other Crips. Cause you had Crips back then that was, they were chilling with bloods. They was in different cliques. It was a bunch of clique shit going on. And that was some shit that we wasn't, 
going for. It's stupid. What distinguishes y'all Forum Park Crips from every other Crip out there and even the Bloods and every other gang out there? What differentiates y'all? We claim our turf, man. We don't claim no California turf. You know what I'm saying? We don't claim no turf in New York. We claim where we, where we been at. We stumped down where we put it down there, man. We don't claim no places we ain't never been. A lot of niggas claiming places they ain't never been, never Six seen. Six and all that shit. Yeah, ain't them niggas been, don't even like the niggas. You got niggas down here claiming five to six or California sets. They don't even like the niggas down here. We homegrown. We got our own shit. And that's what city niggas. That's what city support. So we might be the only ones in the city like that. Maybe in the state, really. We got our own shit. What's the mission and the vision you guys have? Being a crib is just something that we was when we grew up. So it really, it just evolved. You know what I'm saying? So the evolution you see right now is the nonprofit we got going on. So the mission is for the kids that was our age, you know what I'm saying? For, for, for them to better. Like, we have a bunch of missions because, like, we, we've been to jail. So we got some missions for the people in jail. You know what I'm saying? It's just access. It's just resources. It's just networking. That's just the shit we didn't have. That's, that's the mission right now. Mission ain't... To, to be with no other crip niggas or to do none of that now nah, we ain't on none of that man we trying to do something for for the niggas who ain't here who who, who, who done died for the type of shit shit we want to feed the little bros out there you know what i'm saying we're taking sure care of foreign park yeah we're trying to take care it. of the hood to hood it. first man to expand the a-league expand to houston then you know what i'm saying do whatever that's our mission you know what i'm saying we don't care nothing about no other crips you know what I'm saying? We ain't never cared about no other Crips. Mm -hmm. Like you say, because they couldn't even stump over here. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of these niggas who Crips now, we was they influence. You yes. know what I'm saying? And, we they OG. And, and, and they OG probably couldn't even come over here. Yeah. A lot of these, so we don't even recognize a lot of these <laughs> niggas, bro. We do everything out here, man. Uh, food drives, turkey Ooh. drive, back to school, just some summer shit for the kids to do shit. Like I say, man, we used to see kids go to jail all the time. Shit, we was the same kids went to jail because we ain't had shit to do. You know what I'm saying? So like I said before, on something else, man. You just gotta give these young niggas something to do. You were giving back to the community. Right, right, right. How long did you do in, in jail and what was that for? I did seven years. I just, I just, I've been out about four years. I did seven. That's some bullshit. <laughs> That's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I did seven and a half on the nine on the engagement organized crime case. Really, some more bullshit. <laughs> like, <laughs> Police not want to do their job. It's one of our guys, rest in peace, Jack. Something went on and he ended up getting shot. He got shot. Police really doing the investigation and things like that. They really wanted to investigate his friend, which was us. Like we all went up there together. So at the end of the day, they try to slap us with engaging organized crime for deciding to go up there. We in the group, we decided to go to the movies. An incident happened. Now we can all get charged with engaging organized crime. So we made the decision to go. You didn't have nothing to do with what happened. We just made the decision to go. That's bullshit. It's not even unfair. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. <laughs> the fuck is that? Engaging the organized crime? I did five years for felony in possession of a firearm and felony in possession of a body armor. I was just young, being dumb, doing stupid shit. And, uh, unfortunately, I got caught. But it was a good thing that I got caught. Because, I mean, if not, I, I would most likely be dead the way I was moving. So I definitely got me some, some things while I was down there. So uh, it, it worked out for the best. You even sent me a picture with the with the mayor of Houston, correct? Yeah, yeah. so what what is with that? I wouldn't say we we uh, we got to have a big project with them, but the mayor had did a project with some of the most ran down parks of Houston. And we were one of them. Big homie said right here, it, this was nothing but a field. So, you know, as y'all look around, you got a basketball or goal over here. You got the, the jungle gym for the kids. It was nothing here but just field, man. And sad to say, condom rappers, because this is a high area in prostitution. This was a big thing for us to be able to have our hands in this and uh, be able to work with the city of Houston and bring this to the to the community. It usually be young guys out here playing basketball. I mean, they, they, they didn't have nowhere to go. You know, we used to have to go all the way to, what's that, Addicts Cloning yeah. to go hoop. And that's a that's a far wide if you don't have no car. This is perfect for, for all the apartments that's right here. All the drives you guys do, drives for back to school for kids, all of that, how is that funded? If we wanted to help with that, how can we do that? Initially, it was funded by out of our pockets. Then uh, we ended up finding sponsors and, you know, uh, churches and uh, other people, other black people that, that just seen what we were doing in the community. Especially after the first one, that's when you know, people got there. Oh, okay. Yes. Y'all is doing something. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, people just be tapping in. They tapping in on Instagram. They tapping in. They tapping in when they see us. Like, what's up? Uh, when, when the next food drive? When the next backpack drive? 
nigga. We, we not we not just saying we a non-profit. You know, we we actually we have we got paperwork. We 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 looked at by the Secretary of State as a non-profit 501c3. So this is all stuff that we we're actually doing. We're not just going around saying that we're a non-profit. We we actually looked at that under under government's eyes. Y'all care about politics at all? Me personally, I'm only speaking for myself. Yeah. Like my perspective of the government is really like it really don't even matter at the end of the day because ain't shit gonna get done for us. We gotta do it ourselves. Whoever gets elected, all that is is just four years, to eight years of us just seeing how we gotta maneuver. Then it's gonna be somebody else. We just gotta figure it out how to maneuver. But as far as like getting somebody to go out there and vote, uh, starting a march, cause we could. I mean, we can host. Man, we have some nice events. We can host. You sent me pictures. That's all. Yeah, but at Maybe the end of the day, like, what are we really talking about? I think we need to get more closer to the local. The local council, yeah, yeah the that's, ones that's, that's over right. the county and shit. Yeah. Them the ones that's gonna affect us. You know what I mean? Yeah. If y'all were to speak on one issue right now affecting the black community, what would you guys say that is, and what would you want to see different? For, for our community, yeah. I would have to say it's it's, it's the prostitution and the, and the drugs. I mean, that's that's what's that's what's bad. Not actually on Farm Park, but it's surrounded. You got bitch in there, so bitch yeah. is right there. I did so, see some crazy videos on that. Yeah. You know, like, so that's. <laughs> That's something that, that's something that we, that we dealing with, you know. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Me, it's education, man. That's the reason a lot of these niggas fucked up. Or ain't fucked up situation, man. Education, trades, financial literacy, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what it is. It don't, exactly. At the end of the day, it don't matter around, it don't matter the environment you in if you don't prepare yourself to get about the environment, you know what I'm saying? So, so I understand you guys talked about different groups and different gangs, all right. of that. Is it possible that you're friends potentially with some bloods, you know, that are cool with y'all? Of course. Yeah. Okay, so there's no hate. We don't have to watch our back right now that, you know, nah. a blood can be shooting or something. No, nah, that's for important. Oh, they're not going to be here. Nah. It's a reputation thing. It's a respect thing. Okay. If I wanted to be a crip, how, how does that work? You'll be in there. Keep doing what you're doing. That's you still what? what? <laughs> yeah, no, we're not promoting kind of... <laughs> Why you look at me like that, bro? You, you were like sizing me down. You're like, nah, bro. I'm curious though. Why, why, why? I'm, what do you look for? Bro, look from up and down. Bro, nah, I mean, bro, you want to stare I'm me down? I'm saying if we was younger, if it was yeah. younger, it'd be a different thing. You know okay. what I'm saying? We was younger, yeah. Nigga, nigga, let's see what you talking about. Beat your ass real fast. <laughs> I would have crippled up for y'all, but yeah, I don't think see. You, you want to see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> You can work that shit hard, man. <laughs> appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. The mission that we on, we not promoting being no crib right now. So if somebody came up to us asking to be a crib, we, we wouldn't be able to tell them nothing about that. Right. We'd we be able to lead them in the right direction on getting help with a with a, with the, with the nonprofit with one of the guys. We not you know, we don't have nothing negative to, to teach the right. Yeah. See, the thing is, we got some young, we got some young guys who is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? They gonna forever be yeah. bad. We ain't no hypocrites, you know what I'm saying? So we know how yeah. the life of nigga living, you know what I'm saying? Right. We know what's going on, you, you know what I'm saying? Trying but, to push people yeah, to we ain't trying to push, we ain't trying to push them to no love. religion. That's we ain't love. trying to, we ain't none of that, man. We ain't trying to push them nothing. We know we got our little young badass niggas in the streets, you know what I'm saying? But one thing they know, they know they come pull up. Hey, man, helping them get their high school diploma, man. I'm fucking with that. And these people, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, you'd be surprised, like, man. When you joined the Crips earlier in your life, how was your family taking that info? Did they even know about it? Like your mom, your dad, where, nah, where was your family? No, 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 she didn't know about it. She, she found out about it, though. She found yeah, out? She, she found out about it. How? How did she find out? The nigga came home fucked up. He came home fucked up from being quoted on. Damn. That's a put down. How did she react? So she wasn't really tripping. Oh, she wasn't? Nah, man, I got a tough mama, man. She was at work during that time while we was in the streets like that. Free the guys. Rest in peace to everybody. My ad is at Slim Tens, S-L-I-M, one zero with three Zs. If you're trying to see any of the other community work that we've been doing for the past four years, just go in there and there's plenty of work for for you to see on there. And yeah, just stay locked. Free the guys. Rest in peace to all the homies, man. Played a part, a pivotal part in, in years and generations of this form poor crib shit. Cause it ain't just one, two, three. It took it took many of us, you know what I mean? So just shout out to them guys right there. Man, I'll take a zoom in right here, man. Get some of the homies in that intended piece, hot sauce project, three two reload cane, papa C, trap, young deuce, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's this, you know, that's yeah. what we do it for. You know what I'm saying? The niggas right. that's gone and the niggas in jail, J Lo one time, spook, 
Little Blue, all them niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm Messiah FPC, Big Tens, man. Yeah. Fuck everybody else. Conclusion, my special thanks goes out to Triple OG, OG Messiah, OG Slim, and every member of the Crips of Forum Park Houston. My challenge to you, the viewers, is to engage in forward-thinking conversations and support positive change. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this videos with your friends, families, and even your enemies. I'll see you guys shortly with a new video. Be blessed. I'm out. PC, forever protecting the community. Don't get it twisted, though. Nah, that's it. They said it well. <laughs>